a word from God today. Whatever we're dealing with, God, Lord God, I pray that you show us. Show us what we need to do.
your fears and throw on what you're feeling right now. You got to throw that to the side. Right. You got to get rid of that. If you want God to bless you, you want God to break that, that break you're looking for, you going to have to throw them up. Amen. That means you're going to have to surrender to God. Throw all that stuff down. Yes. Get all that stuff that you, you know, you had a bad week, the job and all that, you got to throw that away. That's right. And you got to throw them up. Yeah. Why? Because God is not going to move on your behalf when you sit there mad, complaining, right. yes. mumbling, right. mean mugging God. What you mean mugging God for? Right. Come on now. Right. God said, Yeah, I come that you may have what? Life. life. Good life. Yeah. Good life. Good life. Yeah. If you ain't living a good life, guess what? Something wrong in your wrong. Come on. Yes. That's right. Wrong in your wrong. The wrong in your wrong. Yes. You're going to have to do what? Don't what you going to do? Throw them up. Yeah, we practicing this morning. Every time I say throw them up, you throw them up. Yes. Throw them up. See, at the drop of hat, you got to be willing to give them to God. Come on. Yes. Now. See, you know what most people do? They throw them up. And when, when Jesus comes, they throw them back down and grab it. Uh -huh. No, God. I got this. Come on. Mm -hmm. No, you got to give it up to God. Psalm 100. We there yet? Amen. I know it's a movie. <laughs> <laughs> Put them up. It says, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. All you land. Serve the Lord with what? Glad. Yes. See, you got to be happy, man. Yes. You got to change the way you feel. Yeah. I don't care if your toe hurt. Come on. <laughs> Come on. At least you got a toe. All right. Woo. All right. You understand know what I'm saying? Yeah. That no pain that you did, and you stoked your toe, it's gonna it's gonna go away. That's right. But there's some people, glory to God, diabetes, they ain't got no toes. Yes, sir. They like to be in your shoes. Yeah. Glory to God. I said one more time, they like to be in your shoes with a little bit of pain, glory to God. You complaining about everything. Stop complaining about your good life. Woo! Come on now. Stop complaining about your life. Guess what? Because guess what? Some people ain't got no life. Yeah. Some people dead and gone, glory to God. They want to be here. Yeah. They would love to be here, glory to God, to yeah. help you and God do. But they can't because they're going on to be with the Lord. And you complaining about any and everything. Yeah. Come on now. You got to practice on being joyful. Yes. Practice on praise of God. Yes. It's in your praise, baby. Yes. Your breakthrough is in your praise. Yes. You got to find a way to praise God. The Bible says, I will bless the Lord what? at all times. Yes. His oh. praise should continually, that means all the time, be in my mouth. Yes. You too busy complaining mm. about the good stuff. Jesus. <laughs> Talking about, I can't stand this job. You got a job. Yeah. You got a job. Glory to God. It might not be best job, but start praising God for your new job. Start praising God for what He's going to do for you, glory to God. Instead of what all this stuff that's coming up, you crying the blues. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Come on. Just make the joke Lord, to the Lord all your land. Share the Lord with gladness. <laughs> Come before His presence, what? With singing. When's the last time you sang before the Lord? Jesus. When's the last time you danced before the Lord? Come on now. Well, I noticed when we were doing praise and worship, and, and, and some of you sitting there, mm -hmm. you don't want God to sit down on you. Come on now. Good God Almighty. Come on. When the president come in the building, guess what they do? They stand up. All right. Yeah. And you telling me the president is bigger than God? So when God come in the room, you ought to do what? The presence of the Lord is here. Yes. God come out. Yes. Here we are praising God. The presence of God come through. And you sitting down on your rusty door, dusty. Tell my Lord, I don't love you. Mm. Oh my God. Wow. We so used to things that we slap God in the face. Amen. Kill God. Oh God you know, the Bible says, give, render unto Caesar, which is his. That's right. And God unto God. That's right. Amen. In other words, give the government what they got, but give God all you got. Mm. Mm. Come on now. Ooh, good Amen. God of mine. Amen. Throw them up. You want to practice on that. Yes. Because if you don't practice, put them down. If you don't practice, you won't give God his just due. That's mm. right. Amen. And you wonder why little things are happening. And when you wonder why little things snowball into big things. 
That's right. And then you be like, you, you know, you know why we get depressed? Cause we stay out of the presence. Amen. Mm. If you start getting depressed, you know you're being out of the presence. That's right. Good God That's right. Come on now. So in other words, you want to stay in the presence, Ooh, Lord yeah. God, of God. You're gonna to have to give God some praise. It ain't got to look like it, baby. Yeah. God Almighty. It don't look like I'm going on no vacation. Guess what? I'll be gone before you know it. Amen. Amen. See, you got to understand that what you see is only temporary. Yeah. Good God Almighty. Yeah. That don't mean nothing what you see, glory to God. Temporary. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Things change in a second. That's right. We're going to get to that change. That 1201, baby. Yeah. Ooh, how many of you like the 1201? Anybody know what 1201 I'm talking about? Uh, okay, about 12, somebody say 1201. 1201. Say 1201. 1201. Hallelujah. One more time. 1201. 1201. Do y'all understand what the 1201 is? Yeah. Good God Almighty. Hallelujah. We've been in your moment, but joy coming in the morning. 1201. Good God Almighty. The next day, the next morning, you're coming. Yes. The devil can't hold you down with so much, baby. Come on, now. He can't hold you down. He's yes. just throwing smoke screens. Yes. He yes. makes it look like it's going to last forever, but it ain't. 1201 coming. 1201 coming. I said 1201 coming. Good God Almighty. You might have won this day, uh -huh. but you won't win tomorrow. Come on, God. You won't win in the morning. Amen. God Almighty, because I'm going to be up at 1201. Praising God. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm going to dance my way into the hill, baby. Woo! All the way to 6 o'clock in the morning. You know what I'm talking about? Remember that song? 6 o'clock in the morning. We're going to praise God all the way to 6 o'clock in the morning. Hallelujah. Come on. Woo! Hallelujah. Hell, see. See, y'all, some of you ain't got to hold to it yet. See, because some of you, you going through some stuff. Yeah, but yeah. you don't know how to win yet. Oh, oh, teacher, Pastor. Teacher. You don't know how to win yet. I'm teaching you right now how to win. Yeah. 1201, 859, you got to be praising God. Yeah. Come on, amen. Come on. And you got to be willing to praise God to your breakthrough comes. Yeah. Yes. Amen. 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 And nothing like a great breakthrough. Yes. And you know that God done it, yes. but you got to give God some praise. Some of you still hoping on what happened three weeks ago. Come on. Come on. Good God. Some of you still harping on what happened three years ago. Yeah. Three decades ago. Jesus. Some of you crying about some stuff that you weren't even born yet. Yes, sir. Come on. Amen. You gotta quit holding on to mess. Yes. Amen. Good God Almighty. You gotta let God mean your broken heart. Yes. You think Al Green came up with that? How do you mend a broken heart? Get some God. Amen. Get some praise on your plate. Yep. Amen. Amen, amen. Stop complaining about everything. Amen. Everything ain't meant to be complaining about. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on. Mm -hmm. We still in Psalms 100. Yes, Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Let's go to verse number three. Know ye that the Lord, he is what? God. 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 How many of you know God is God? Amen. Come on. Do you really know that? God. I said, I'm going to keep your hands up. Because you got to really know who God is. Yeah. You remember in Hebrews 11 and 6, it said, first you got to do what? Know that he is. Yeah. See, you got to know that God is who he said he is. That's right. And that he's a what? Reward to them that do what? Yeah. Diligently seek him. So you got to be seeking God. You got to stay in the presence yeah. of God. Good God Almighty. Yeah. See, that's why depression and stuff come. That's why doubt and fear come, because you ain't been in the presence. Yeah. You got to stay in the presence. Stop staying on Facebook and get in the presence, man. Get off TikTok and get in the presence, glory to God. Good God Almighty. That's what you got to do. Stay out of this, all this other stuff. See, that stuff is only temporary. That's right. Amen. Social media is only temporary. Yes. They friends today and they hate each other tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, come on. Mm -hmm. It's temporary. Temporary. Amen. But the presence of God, because God said, I'm the same today, Amen. yesterday, yes. and forevermore. Yes, Lord. Thank Stay you. in the presence. Yes. Your breakthrough is in your praise. Yes. yes. See, if you ain't at home yes. practicing on your shout. Yes. <laughs> see, y'all wonder how all these people, you see them on television or you see them in church and they, 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 they shout. Shout ain't nothing but dancing. Damn. Yeah. They're practicing. Shout ain't nothing but dancing. Hallelujah. You know how you used to be before you went to the club? Come 
on, practicing on your dance? Right, yeah. Come on now. Right. Can't wait till I see that dude. I'm a slow dance with him. Yeah. I can't wait till I see that girl. Oh, I'm a Gregory Abbott, huh? I'm gonna shake her down. <laughs> you practice. You practice. You have to practice the presence of God. Yes. Come on. When you get home, you want to practice on your shadow. Yes. See, right. if you practice on your shadow at home, when you come in, you won't be your seat. Say it now. You won't be scared of what people are looking at you. Who cares what people think? Amen. They dying. Come on now. I'm going to say that one more time. Yeah. You worried about what people think, looking yeah. at you, shouting. That's yeah. what? They died. Come on now. Come on now. <laughs> you want shouting and living. Come yeah. on now. You want to live your, life, oh. live your, your best yeah. life? Yeah. You better learn how to praise God. Yeah. That's your best life, glory Hallelujah. to God. Because people get depressed and go kill themselves. Yeah. Yes, sir. Oh, my God. Oh my God. I don't Preach want nobody praising God, Preach. killing themselves. Come on. Say Preach it. <laughs> Why? Because they see the other side of the coin. Yes. Ooh. The greatest heat is in you. Preach see, the Holy Ghost is on the inside of you. Yes. Preach what is that? According to your what? Faith. 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 It's according to how much time you're spending with God. Yes. It's according to how much you're going after God. Amen. The one that diligently seeks him. Yes. And we wonder why everything's going so wrong. Well, the devil's going to keep it coming. You know it. Yes, why? Sir. Because that's what he does. Yes. Amen? Amen. Yes. What verse we in? Uh, verse 3. It says, Know ye the Lord, he is God. And that he has made us, and we have not. See, some of y'all think y'all sell me. Come on now. Jesus. You think you got it going on because of you. Come on. It's just the blessings. And the mercy of God. Come on now. Ain't nothing that you've done that's so great that God didn't bless you with. Amen. Because all the good stuff coming from above. Yeah. From God. Yeah. And you think you did it on your own. Jesus. Uh -huh. And you won't give God no praise. See, one day that grace going to run out. You know it. Ah, come you know on, that. Say that Chase, wake up. Glory to God. No, we ain't sleeping up in here. Come on. Amen. Come on. Mm -hmm. We're not having that. Amen. Because right. death and life. Come on. That's right. Yeah. See, you don't understand that this stuff is death and life. That's right. You think that this is a game. Mm -mm. It ain't. No. Uh -uh. Come on. The word of God is serious. Yes. Amen. Now, we might mess up and we might do things, but we ain't doing it on purpose. All right. I'm not going to let you sleep. Yeah. Right. My daddy, you know what? My daddy wouldn't even let me sleep in church. <laughs> and he kept me up all night sometimes. Free. Working. <laughs> But he wouldn't let us leave in church. Uh huh. That's what he made me do. Stand up. That's right. Uh -huh. He used to make me stand up the whole service. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I used to, I'm telling you, it wasn't this church, but I used to count the lines on the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. I, hey, I can move the, I can move the ceiling. Mm -hmm. That's how many times <laughs> I was standing up. I knew, how to, I knew how to work my eyes while I could move the ceiling back and forth. <laughs> I was a superhero. Come on now. <laughs> Amen. I ain't going to get to talk this morning. What I'm telling you is, is you got to take this serious. Some of the same stuff. See, it's like good health. If you don't take care of your body, it goes down. That's right. If you don't take care of your spirit, man, guess what? It goes down. Yes. And we wonder why so many things are just coming by. Mm -hmm. My oh my. Why me, Lord? Anybody ever say that song? Mm -hmm. Why me, Lord? Why me? I love you, Lord. Why me? Why me? We, we don't love him enough to do what's the do the right thing. Yeah. Get into his presence. Then we can't trust y'all. Say it now. Last year, you were on fire for God. Mm -hmm. Shout, fall on the floor. <laughs> Come on, Come on, say it. And you think that the devil going to trust you? Uh huh. Come you on. might get back on fire. Yes. Come yes. on. Come you on. might get somebody yes. saved. Yes. He trying to go ahead and kill you. That's yes. right. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Don't even see yeah. That's right. Amen. That's yeah. right. When you get on fire for God and you start cooling down, guess what? All the friends come back. Yes. All right. And they take you worse. Oh yeah. Oh now yeah. they they want just smoking weed. Uh huh. Now they want to do a little bit of more stuff. Come yeah. on now. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, he tried to take you further than you ever want to go. That's yeah. right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amen. The people that do drugs and stuff, guess what they're looking for? The 
God. God. They, don't they, they don't even know. They think that that's going to get, that's going to escape from reality. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. It's not. Mm-hmm. It's not. Matter of fact, it's going to take you closer to death. Yes. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. But it's in your what? Come on. Pray. Pray. It's in your what? Pray. Pray. Say it with me. It's in my what? Pray. Pray. Y'all, are, y'all are convinced about it. So we're going to give you one more time. I want you to say, it's in my praise. Mm-hmm. I'm three. One, two, three. It's, it's in, in my praise. praise. Your great two will always be in your praise. Mm-hmm. You know why? Because when you praise God, it don't matter if he move or not no more. Mm-hmm. Come, Come on now. Come on now. Why? Because you love God. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and guess what? He coming. All right. I'm telling you, he's going to move on your behalf. Yeah. Amen. Let's go. Yes. It says, we are his people and the sheep of his pastor. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. And into his what? Course with praise. praise. Be thankful. You got to be thankful for what you got. That's right. You kids, stop being ungrateful. You parents, stop being ungrateful. Amen. Amen. Praise God for what you already have. Yes. Good God Almighty. You got that little jalopy car sitting outside and smoking. Guess what? You better Amen. praise God anyway. Oh, That's right. God. Guess what? Because you ain't on the bus. Come on now. Everybody knows it's cold on the bus. Yeah. Them seats are cold. I don't care how much cushion they put on there. And cook is still cold. As a matter of fact, it don't even go in your neighborhood. Come on now. You got to walk a little bit when you're out the bus. Oh, Y'all don't know nothing about that? Oh, Lord of God, it don't take you to your front door. Right. It take you right to the corner spot of the Come city. On. Come on now. And you got to walk. Lock. And everybody around about it you that, that know you. Yes, sir. Hold on. And they won't stop me. Praise but you want to start doing is praising God yeah. for the new ride. Yeah. 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 Start praising God for what He's going to do. Call those things that be not. See if you ain't going, if you can't see it, you can't have it. Oh. If you can't talk it, you Amen. can't have it. Oh. The reason why you got all that bad luck going on because you've been talking bad luck. Yeah. You better start talking good stuff, yeah. godly stuff. Yeah. Come on. Call those things that be not. The Bible said you can have whatsoever you want. Say. So what you saying? Yeah. Say it now. That's a good question. You want to get mad at somebody? Get mad at yourself. Right. Yes. Because right. God is not a man that he should lie. Right. Amen. God wants you blessed. Yes. Young lady, God wants you blessed. Amen. Yes. Chase, God wants you blessed. Yes. He trying to find ways to get you blessed. Amen. But you got to get in position. Yes. You got to get in position. Go out your way to do extra stuff. Yeah. It ain't in works, but guess what? It don't bother. It ain't hurt you. Mm-hmm. I see the people, even this week, stepping up their game. Yes. Coming by doing stuff. Oh, you think? Right. They're going to get blessed. That's right. They're going to get blessed. <laughs> you know who was talking this week? And every once in a while, I start reminiscing about things I've done. Only when people start talking, because I don't remember, but God started bringing stuff to my remembrance. You see the parking lot right here? Mm-hmm. I mean, you like the parking lot already, so they're not going to start clearing it off. Yeah. Man, yeah. we got parking spaces we didn't even know we had. It was so much grass growing up in here. <laughs> Come on now, but guess what? Expectations. That's right. So you got to be expecting God to do something. Yeah. Uh-huh. I told I told the person I said don't 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 worry about them. Let them take their time about doing a problem. Not that we ain't got the money, cause we got the money. Mm-hmm. That's right. Yeah. But let them take their time. Doing something. We doing something. Yes. <laughs> we doing something. Let the people see. Mm. Then we doing something. Yes. Amen. 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 And I was telling them, wrong. and I said you got to get out here and get stuff done. Mm-hmm. And I said see people don't pay attention. Because you don't tell everybody everything. Y'all know how many times I painted this parking lot? Amen. Come on. See, people, you don't even remember it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I actually striped this parking lot three times. Amen. With my own money. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I bought the paint. I bought the brushes. Mm-hmm. I bought the stencils. I bought it all. And I painted the lines in the parking lot yeah. three different times. Yeah. And I didn't ask for anything. Mm-hmm. You wonder why the people around you getting blessed is because they finding something to do right. when you're not here. Amen. Say it now. Amen. Amen. And they ain't telling you. That's right. 
They ain't telling you. Why? Because you don't believe it in any way. You don't believe it anyway. And so, I'm going to tell you, is that you got to get off your rusty dust and do some things. You want to see the blessings of God in your life? Yeah. Praise yeah. God. Because see, see, when you get close to God and he, you start praising God, God starts talking to you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yes. He starts telling you what to do and how to do it. But see, a lot of times, we ain't, we ain't for that. That's right. We cast it down. Shut up, devil. That's right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Why? Because you can't see yourself doing that for the things of God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on. You rather go out and buy all these other things for people. Mm. They don't care nothing about you. Mm. Say it now. Than to do it for God. All right. Who's yeah. going to make sure he gives you a hundredfold return. Yes. Yeah. Amen. And you have to look at it and God's going to get it back to you. That's yes, right. Amen. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say that one more time. That's why the Bible says give and it shall be what? Give. It ain't all about the money all the time. Amen. But when you bless God's house. Amen. We, I'm going to say that one more time. Yes. When you bless God's house, your house is definitely blessed. That's right. Okay. Y'all ain't hearing me. Come on now. That's right. Hallelujah. I ain't beating up on you this morning. I'm encouraging. What did I tell you the title of the message was? Is your breakthrough is in your praise. All right. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. I'm going to take five seconds and I'm going to count to five. <laughs> now, the title of the message is Your Breakthrough is in Your Praise. All right. And I'm going to count to five. And I want to see do you understand the title? Yeah. One. But when you can serve the Lord with gladness. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. No, I, mean, I just so I listen. I know people in here that have been homeless. See, some of y'all ain't never been homeless. Say it now. Some of you ain't never been cold. See, you all know you you've been you've been you've been under grace for a long time. Come on now. But for the people that know have suffered a little bit, uh, man. Ain't nothing like the Holy Ghost. Holy Amen. I told y'all, man, we've been so cold that the fist tank froze. Yeah. Come on now. Good God Almighty. What do you think we were doing? <laughs> God Almighty. That's why you would never see me use. Now, this is just like nobody. I ain't going to say it then. Hallelujah. Oh, man. I expect more. That's right. I just expect more. Amen. See, I've been in the house that has been smoked up. Yes, yes. With wood Amen. and kerosene. Amen. Oh, yeah. I used to hate them little. Oh, my God. See, y'all don't know. Yeah. Some of y'all don't know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Oh, man. Man, as a kid, all I could do was pray, Lord, what they invent something better. I'm so tired of this, Lord. My fingers going to fall out. God, I'm out of it. I'm telling y'all. Jesus. See, you got a lot of people think they're the only one going through. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I guarantee those people on your block have went through the same thing you yeah. went through. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yes, oh, yeah. Amen. Guess what? But if they came out on top, that's what? That means you come out on top. That's, yeah. right. that's it. Amen. Amen. Let's go to verse 5. Is it in verse 5? And bless his name. For the Lord is what? Good. Somebody said, "When well, the Lord is what? Good. Good. And his mercy is everlasting and his truth 
and throw it to what? All generations. That means the generation coming after you. Amen. And after that one. Yeah. And I see, when you start talking about generations to come, you're talking about your kids' kids. Amen. So you ain't nobody thought about your kids' kids, hey. Glory to God, you better start praying for your kids and your children's kids. Yeah. And then their kids, glory to God. To the third and fourth generation, yeah. you better start praying now. Glory to God. Yeah. And God bless your kids. But listen, it's getting worse out here. Yeah. And you get so now, listen. The enemy has come against the church so hard. Yeah, yeah. And against the believers so hard yeah. that even the kids today don't want to go to church. All right. Come on now. Don't believe in God. Come on. Don't want nothing to do with God. Amen. You better start praying for them now. Amen. Amen. Guess what? Because guess what? If they don't believe in God, they lost. And their kids lost. And That's their right. kids lost. Come on. That's better, right. That's what the Bible says that you got to pray. Yes. Always with all prayer. Yes. Amen. 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 Tell you about it. Man, I ain't getting nowhere today. Woo! I'm going to have to jump some stuff. Because I want to get a little bit. I want to take five minutes just praying God, man. Y'all don't understand. Amen. I said, y'all don't understand. Psalm 34 says, let's go to 34. says, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continue to be in my mouth. Philippians 4 and 4 says, rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say what? Rejoice. rejoice. Oh, Something I learned. I'm 53. It took me a few years to find out how old I was again. <laughs> 53. And one thing I've learned in life is nothing is as bad as it looks. Amen. Nothing is bad as it looks. And time heals all wounds. Yes. I, when stuff bad happened to me now, or really happened, I know time. We're covering. Yeah, yeah. I'm just too close to it right now to see yeah. some things. Amen. But when time comes, yes. and at the appropriate time, God will reveal unto yes. me yes. what was going on. Yeah. Yes. See, it takes a little bit of time. Mm -hmm. You know, when I got in all that trouble years ago, I man, I thought all hope was lost. Yeah. I really did. And at age 22, 23, I thought all hope was lost. I already didn't like most people. <laughs> so my attitude was all messed up. Amen. Some of y'all been there. Yeah. So when something bad happened to me, I felt like all hope. When I got in trouble with the law, all hope was gone. Come on. Amen. Amen. Oh yeah. Mm. All hope was gone. Come on now. <laughs> Woo! You wonder why some of your kids act the way they act? Because some of them that got in trouble and they feel like oh, all hope is gone. Jesus. Why? They feel like they're in the system. Yeah. I'm talking to the, a lot of, really about the young black men. Yeah. And, and white men too. Especially if you have, your know, your growing up is not good. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, man. See, now you're thrown in a cage and all hope is gone. All hope is gone. But see, it's, it's some, something better than that. Yes. That'll bring you out. Yes. That'll bless you, man. Amen. Even in the midnight hour. Amen. Good God Almighty. See, God's word. See, if you ain't never stood on God's word before, you don't understand what I'm talking about. But you can. Yes. Amen. You can. I remember standing up in the courtroom. So some of you been there. I remember standing up in the courtroom. I ain't tell my daddy. I ain't tell my I ain't tell nobody. Nobody even knew. That I was facing years in prison. Nobody knew it. I stood before the judge, but the Lord told me, man. But see, I got I I, I had a praying family. <laughs> and so, even though you act a fool, you got prayer around you. That's why it's so important for you to pray for your kids. Yeah. Because they're going to be in some situations, Lord of God, that the Holy Ghost is going to guide them through on your behalf. Come on yeah. now. Yeah. Just because you love God. Yeah. <laughs> That's why God said, uh, Abraham is my what? My friend. Yeah. And see, a lot of times, Lord of God, because your parents, Lord of God, are God's friend. Yes. He won't allow certain things to happen to your kids. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Because you love them. Yeah. And because my father hmm. had put so much prayer over my life, Come on now. I you. couldn't go to prison. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Although I was trying to knock on the door. Come on now. I, got I, was, I was trying to get in there, yeah. man. Y'all just don't know. Yeah. Good God, I want to shoot somebody. So y'all don't understand. So y'all think you see you think that generation that we come from is bad? This generation here, 
They don't even care about going to prison. Nope. Long ago, long ago. They want some tattoos on their shoulders. They want some stars and t- some, some teardrops on their eyes. You better start praying. Yes. Good God Almighty. But I thought old hope was lost. Just say a little bit about me. But I told God. I said, Lord, now we're gonna we're gonna sit down, we're gonna talk. Every once in a while. I can tell y'all about a few things that that me and God had true conversations on. You can have a true conversation with God. Yes. When I told God, I said, now, me and you ready to make this this thing. I said, now, you get me out of this. You don't have to worry about me no more. Mm-hmm. I said, won't be no going up and down the road shooting guns. Mm-hmm. I said, there won't be no more Running in people's houses and fighting. I did that a few times. Yep. Yeah. I got some witnesses. I was foolish. Because <laughs> I thought I had a girlfriend she over somebody else's house. <laughs> <laughs> I ran up in their house. <laughs> the other guy's house. <laughs> oh, God. That's stupid. Come on now. Can you mean? Hey, Amen. He has the right to kill you. That's right. That's right. But because, and then you stupid anyway. Because I, I'm stupid anyway. But she was my girlfriend. <laughs> she was his girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> but that's how we think. That's right. Yeah. See, the devil like to get us out there, and then our pride get hurt. Yeah. And yeah. then we act the fool. Amen. Yeah. I went over somebody's house one time. Oh God, why I'm on this? And I, 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 because somebody said something, something else clicked. I ran over a cookout one time with the whole family out there. <laughs> the whole family. It made the girl come to the car. What am I going to do? If they turn against me, or they got mad, what was I going to do? The whole family was in the front yard. Jesus. That didn't stop me. That's why when I want when I get the chance to praise God. Say it now. I praise him with all my heart. Yes. Because I know I'm supposed to be dead. I know I done did some things and you know you done did some things too. Come on now. And the grace of God has saved your life. For the grace. For the grace. It's ever been for the grace of God. Yes. Smiling down on you. Yes. And you gonna sit in the chair like you ain't got it never did nothing for you. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. But after all that other crazy stuff happened, I thought all hope was gone. And God bless me. He assured me that he was going to take care of me. I walked out the courtroom. Come on now. Just as good as I walked in. Come on. <laughs> they said, you know what happened? I'm about like what Ron told me. They said, well, you know what, what's going on? Because I, I don't understand that courtroom talk. All I know is he said, I can't remember if this was on Matlock or, or what. And he said something about a suspended sentence. That's all I know. And I walked out the courtroom. Amen. Amen. That day, my life changed. Amen. Amen. God kept up his end of the bar. Amen. Thank you, Lord. He kept up his end of the bar. Now, there's some stipulations come with that. Yes. <laughs> yep. and, and I was on five years probation just in case. Come on. Come on. I didn't keep my end of the bar. <laughs> hey, that's right. Jesus. That's right. <laughs> But I had to move away from y'all. Oh my God! Come on. I'm gonna say that one more time. Yeah. I had to move right off and around my surroundings. Uh-huh. So you think that I just moved to Oklahoma because I love y'all? Mm. Come on. I went 1,200 miles to get away from my past. Amen. So that God was start a new future with me. Amen. Say it. Say it. Transfer the case and all. I didn't even know you could do it, but God let me know I could. Amen. Amen. But I praise God all the way to Oklahoma. Yes. Yes, thank you, Lord. All the way, I praise Him. Praise God, praise God. And God opened doors. See, you don't understand that when you praise God, 
God not only opened doors, he opens futures. Come on now. Woo. Come on. Ooh. You hear what I said? He not open, only open doors. He opened futures for you. Yes. Good God Almighty. You think your all hope is lost. God got a future and a plan and a purpose for your life. Yes. 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 Good God Almighty. Hallelujah. All you got to do is start praising him mm. for the victory. Hallelujah. Good God. Get off your knees. Stop crying. Start praising. Hallelujah. Start praising. Yes. The Bible says that David decks out of his clothes. Yes. Because of the ark of the covenant came into the city. Yes. Good God. Who don't want the presence of God near Come you? on now. All right. Good God Almighty. I'm not going to tell you it's going to be so easy. And I'm not going to tell you everybody's going to be on your side. Because right. guess what? The Bible talks about when David danced out his clothes, his wife even despised him. Yes, yes. Because she was upset that a king would dance before all these common folks. Come on now. That's the best time to dance. Come on. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Good God Almighty. The Bible says that David danced, and he said that David was a man after his what? Heart. Own heart. Man, you got to get to the point that you don't worry about what people talk about. That's right. You can't even let your mind shut you down. Come Amen. on now. Come you on. got to praise God from the inside. Yeah. Come on. From the inside out. Yes. Yes. God, from your heart and not your head. Come on. Because if you do it from your head, It'll shut you down. That's right. Because all you can think about, if you got to close your eyes and praise God, you got to do it. Because you got to get your breakthrough. Yes. See, you know what I'm saying? You out on the floor, you dancing. Mm -hmm. You didn't care about what people think. Nope. Say it. You still out there snaking. Uh huh. <laughs> and then we cap a patch. <laughs> you doing the wrong dance, but you didn't care. Nope. Why? Because you out there enjoying yourself. Yeah. So you got to get to the point. That's why the Bible says, serve the Lord with what? Gladness. Yes. You got to get to the point that you praise God no matter what people think or say. Amen. That's how God gets on your side. And if God be for you, who? Who? And I'm not going to be able to finish this anyway. Good God Almighty. I don't preach myself at Hallelujah. Y'all don't understand the glory of God. Good word. Hallelujah. You got to get to the point where you are praising yourself happy. We're going to hit that last. I'm going to say that for next week. I've got to get this again. It's just so good. Let's go to Psalms. Uh, last, uh, what's the name? Let's go to Psalms 34. I was going to do Paul at midnight, but we don't have the time. Psalms 34. I told you we're going to bless the Lord at all times. I praise you until he be in our mouth. First of all, my soul shall make a boast to the Lord. The humble should hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and do what? Let's exalt his name yeah. together. When we come to church, that's what we're doing. We're exhorting God's name what? Together. Yeah. See, some things you won't be able to do by yourself because iron sharpens iron. Amen. Amen. If you struggle at home, come to church so you can sharpen yourself. Amen. I'm going to say that one more time. Because so many people think they can just do it at home by themselves. And the devil beating them up so bad. Right. They don't even realize. You have to come to church sometime and get some like-minded people around you. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You reason reason why you still lose it? Because you still hanging around losers. Come on, right? I'm gonna say that one more time. Come yeah. on. Please, yeah. please don't get mad at me because I said that. Because I'm telling you the truth. Find you some you wanna get you wanna make money? Get around some people that make money. I'm going to say that one more time. Find you at least one millionaire that you can find uh, uh, somebody to make $100,000. Mm -hmm. See, yeah. money attracts what? Money. God people attract what? God people. I was coming up. This is what the old people we say, the old saints you say. Birds of a feather flock together. If you think you talk too much, guess what? Most of your friends do what? They talk, they talk too much. And run them see made a song for you. You got a big mouth. <laughs> you want to change your life? I'm being harsh today. You want to change your life? Change your friends. Amen. Tell one thing. You want to change your life? Change your friends. Amen. That's just that's. I mean, I can't get it better than that. You want to change your life? 
change your friends. Amen. Now don't get the same type of friends. Amen. Go find you some better friends. Amen. Now that's harsh, but that's just the truth. Amen. Guess what? You always be able to come back and talk to your friends and help pull them up if you can. Amen. But if they don't want to do what you want to do, if they don't want to go to the next level, you got to leave them be. Amen. Amen. You got to leave them be. Name them millionaires right now, all these celebrities, man. Guess what? They have to leave some friends. Amen. Because some friends don't want to go to the next level. Amen. They don't want to do what you want to do. Amen. They, some people like to live in the hood. Yeah, boy. Amen. Come on now. Come on up. I'm just empty. Love it. Love it. Amen. There's some people that grew up in, in, in uh, what's the one off college route? Oh, BBG. Huh? Daniel Brooks. Daniel Brooks. There's some people that lived in Daniel Brooks from the time they were born. Till they tore down. Amen. Amen. Yeah. They didn't want to go nowhere. They loved it there. Amen. They were likely living on the one way street. Uh huh. There ain't nothing wrong with that. Amen. We all done lived in projects. I lived in, what, Spring Springfield? Mm -hmm. Amen. They tore them down too. Yeah. Made houses. Amen. I'm telling you, if you want to change your life, you got to change something about your friends. So does that. Amen. I got plenty. I used to have plenty of friends. I don't got no many friends no more. Mm -hmm. You're going to have some friends that don't want you to go further than them. Mm -hmm. Come on. You know what I love about God? Is that he was, one of his women requirements is is that you go to the next level? God doesn't do par parallel. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say that one time. I want y'all to come here right. at me because I don't think you understand that. God does not do parallel. He only goes up. Amen. He only wants you to go up and back. Amen. Glory to God. The parallel is the fence. And he said that he don't want you to be on the fence. All right, amen. He don't want you to be hot. I mean, he wants you to be hot or what? Cold. He wants you either going up, jumping off the fence, or getting on the ground. Because mm -hmm. he said he don't like you being lukewarm. Mm -hmm. amen. He wants you to go to the next level. Young lady, God wants to take you to the next level. You got to allow him. And that goes for everybody. Amen. God only takes you to the next level if you will allow him. Amen. If you stay where you at, guess what? God will allow you to do that. Amen. But guess what? He can't bless you the way he wants you to be blessed. Stop listening to the people that try to tell you that it don't take all that. Because it take that and more. Listen. How many of you got, how many living homes? Come on, throw your hand up. How many of you ever bought a home before? Throw your hand up. Okay. How many of you have lived in an apartment before? They got requirements. Okay? Number one requirement in an apartment is your credit got to be halfway decent. Okay? It ain't got to be great, but it'll be halfway. But something got to back that up. You better have three months worth of rent. Amen. Okay? Yeah. See, you got, it has requirements. Amen. Where y'all think they got that from? God have requirements too. Amen. We think that we can just serve God any kind of way. But no. You think you can get an apartment in the car? You can't. You can't. You can't. It's requirements to get a house. It's requirements to get a car. Amen. But when we come to the things of God, we don't want to meet the requirements. Amen. Ain't no wrong with coming to you all. But when you get here, you spend more. Amen. Don't say it anymore. <laughs> Amen. Amen. All right, I ain't going to say nothing. You know, made me go over time. I love you guys. Man, I tell you what, I give you a little piece of me every week. Amen. Amen. I tell you a little bit more. I'm going to tell you that God showed me so much when I moved and got away from the high point. Some of you want to move out of high point. I'm not going to tell you not to move out of high point. I don't know where this coming from. But if you're going to take the same stuff you did when you lived, was living in High Point, you might as well stay here. Yes. That deuces to that. <laughs> I'm going here to tell you. Them same demons will follow you. Yes. Stay with them. Sure That's right. 
The same deal. If you don't change your lifestyle before you leave, mm -hmm. ain't gonna help you when you get there. So they already wait. That's right. They waiting on. You. See, you got to you got to change everything about you. If you have to change your name, change it. So when they call your name, you don't answer to it. Man, I know that's a strength, but some of you want a new start. Some of you want new things, but you're still holding on to the old stuff. Amen. Nothing changes. Amen. You want a new break in God? Well, you got to change some stuff. Amen. Amen. That's it. You got to change some stuff. Amen. And you wonder why people are talking about, oh, they cold. They just, they just, they just drop you in a heartbeat. You better learn to drop some stuff in a heartbeat. Amen. You better learn to drop some friends. Yeah. Amen. Matter of fact. If you bring up a friend, oh, nah. this ain't about. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to, what they call that? This disclaimer. This is strictly everybody. And I ain't going to say it. <laughs> I ain't going to say it just because I said the disclaimer. I ain't going to say it. Thank you, feet. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your breakthrough is always in your what? Praise. Hey. Hey. Let's receive a million dollars. It's, God has given us so many ways to go to the next level. It ain't just one way. Now, Christ is the only way to be saved. Mm -hmm. But God shows us things that takes us to the next level. First of all, you can give your way out. Yes, you can. You can praise your way out. You can honor your way out. Amen. Thank you, sir. I already did my brother. God gives us ways to win. Say, I will. I will. Win. Win. In the things of God. In the things of God. Say, I will. I will. Honor. Honor. God. God. I will. I will. Pay my tithes and offer. Pay my tithes and I will. I will. Honor my mother and father. Honor my mother and father. And I want to tell you this. You have kids. You got to teach them that. Amen. You got to teach your kids how to honor you. You got to teach your kids how to honor the, the teachers. The police. Amen. Amen. The people around me. Amen. When I was growing up, it was called elders. Anybody older than me, I had the honor. Amen. You got to go back to teaching your kids that. Amen. We have to go back to teaching our kids that. You know, one of the things um, that we ran into is the auntie, the, when they really are. <laughs> uh-huh. When you got kids, you, you you don't understand. The kids, they 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 uh how to they study you. Mm -hmm. And they, they want to question everything about it. Mm -hmm. That's only because we need to teach them Amen. the right way. Mm -hmm. You got to teach them the right way. Mm -hmm. It's honor. The reason why most of your kids are not going with our kids are not getting to the next level is because they have no honor mm -hmm. or respect. For authority yeah. or elders, mm -hmm. they call you by your first name. Come on, okay, that's a no no. Mm -hmm. Can't allow you can't allow them to call. I'm oh, Ralph. Put your hand up. You can't you can't allow Uncle uh, your kid to call Uncle Ralph Ralph. That's right. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. They got to put a handle on that. Right. I, I mean, every kid got to put a handle on. It. If they call on a grown up by their first name. You ought to be prepared. You ought to be shaving yourself. Yeah, say that thing. You better get back and change it. Amen. Why? Because this honor brings about death. Amen. Woo! This honor it brings about jail time. All right. Yes, it does. It, it, it brings about uh, hospital stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, because they refuse to honor somebody. Amen. And when they refuse to honor, that means they are arguing with them. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. They tell you what they think. And don't nobody care what a kid think mm -hmm. to a certain degree. We done gave so many people so much. How is it that the parents and the grown folks are giving more honor to the kids than the kids are giving to them? Oh, come on now. Preach. Teach it. Teach it. Well, they people too. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, listen. A child is a child. They can't, they can't, they can't feed themselves. Mm -hmm. They can't clothe themselves. They can't, they can't 
house himself. She right. They can't pay no bills. And you answering to them. Mm. That was normal. I remember my father told me, he said, I'd rather fight you. But I told my kids, I'd rather fight you, man, than let you run my house. I can't allow it. Because when you sleep, I'm working. Amen. Yes, sir. Come on down. When you sleep, I'm coming up with ways to take care of you. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. I hear my kids say it sometimes, well, that's what you're supposed to do. Now, they didn't say it like that. Don't get me wrong. I'm just mm -hmm. trying to, yeah. But basically, when well, you put to take care of me, well, that's what I'm trying to do. But in the meantime, I'm going to knock you out so you can get some sleep. Because right. <laughs> <laughs> you don't bump your head. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, we got, it's our fault. Our that's, 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 our that's right. But when you get in God's word, God will begin to tell you Amen. and show you where you're lacking at in your kids. Have you noticed in the Bible? There, there are prophets in the Bible that did not teach their kids yep. the honor God. Yeah. And it came in it, it, it the bad form. Yeah. God don't allow that. God did not allow you to love him and not teach your kids. Amen. Amen. Just telling you that now. Where, if you find that in the Bible that's okay, you let me know about it. Because it don't work that way. Amen. That's how you, you not only pray for the next generation, you teach the next generation. Amen. You teach the next generation. Now go home and whoop your kids. <laughs> now, I'm just being serious. My dad used to tell me I'm going to get you for the old and the new. All right. I'm going to whoop you because I let you slide, but you didn't want to act right, so I'm going to get you again. I'm going to get you now. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's okay to do that. Stop trying to show out on them when they show out in, in public. Come on. Go and show out on their home. They won't show out in public. All right. Uh -huh. They won't show out in public. Now, I got good kids, but my kids ain't never tried to act no fool like that. Right. They ain't never tried to do nothing like that. Because I was stomp them when they lie. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. I do that look. Now that I think it's like you do like 48 hours or nothing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do 48 hours. That ain't no real jail. <laughs> That's a holding cell. I do that. Yeah, I do that. Mm -hmm. But when I come back out. Yes, sir. It's only possible to get Yeah, Because yeah. Yeah. I'm going to beat you because you called me. Uh -huh. Come on. Yeah, <laughs> Let's say our scripture. Hey, listen, we have a uh, confession that we say every every time we give. Glory to God. Why? It's because we believe in that. Amen. Amen. Before we do that, if you have there right now, if you have not uh, received Christ as your Lord and Savior, glory to God. I want you to repeat after me right now. Say, Father, Father in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus I repent of my sins. Come into my heart right now. I believe and I confess that you raised your son Jesus from the dead and now I'm saved. Dear brother, sister, you said that with me, you true that I say, glory to God, and deliver it. Come to order us at the High Point Christian 234 Dorothy Street, High Point, North Carolina 27262. Guess what? But if you can't make it here, I want you to find you a good Bible-based church to get in, glory to God, hallelujah. There's great ones all over the uh, city, glory to God, great ones all over the triad, glory to God, hallelujah. Find you a good Bible-based church to get into, glory to God, and go in there and tell the pastor, I want to get involved. God bless you, we love you, we thank you. We uh, we hope that heaven, heaven smile upon you, glory to God, and we pray for you right now. Remember Hebrews 11, it says, God is rewarded to them to do what? Diligently seek him, seek God today. We'll see you Wednesday night, our power. Oh, I'm supposed to be doing something. Uh, come on, come on. What, what's that? Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Sorry about that, y'all. On three. One, two, three. I am a child. I am a giver. I am rich. I am blessed. I am walking in the borders of God. I am death free. And the day is about to make it a whole while. Hallelujah. Now listen, I want y'all, we might have to say that again. Because y'all want to say something about that. I know I paused a little bit, but don't punish me. So I want you to praise God for the days of brother making it over. The reason why I tell y'all about the praise, man, is because God inhabits the praises of his people. And if you don't give God thanks and praise for what he's done for you, I'm looking, I'm looking at every last one of y'all. All of y'all look prosperous to me. Amen. The guild got on their COVID shirts. <laughs> you know what Kenny got on 
uh, uh, some Pittsburgh, some stupid team like Pittsburgh Steelers. Chase <laughs> 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 got our Arab Apostle shirts on. This young lady right here got a nice uh, sweaters, jacket, whatever, got on. Listen, you look prosperous. You better find a way to praise God for what you got. Because it's going to come a time that a lot of stuff will be taken away. That's right. That's what the Bible says. Yes, Lord. Now, put your Bibles over there. <laughs> I'm messing with y'all in there. <laughs> bow, bow. Miss, Miss Lisa, you got a Bible in your hand. I called your name out on purpose. <laughs> that look like a brand new Bible. Is that a brand new Bible? Throw that up here right quick. The new year is coming. How many days we got? 52? How many days we got before the new year? Come on, y'all. 50 something days. On January 1st, I am requesting you to have a brand new Bible. Everybody here? Brand new Bible. I do this for a couple of reasons. Number one, God put it on my heart to have a brand new Bible every year. So you don't live off your last blessings. Stop living off last year's stuff. And live off something new. Amen? Get you a new Bible. Get you an NIV Bible. Get you a, uh, what is it? Amplified Bible. Amplified Bible. You know, it's a difference between the classic Amplified and the new Amplified. Okay? Get a classic Amplified. It's really good. All right? Get you an NIV. Get you a new Bible. Invest in the things of God. Invest in the things of God. You want God to invest in you? Invest in the things of God. Amen? We already did our confession. Come on, take up the offer. We're good to go. Uh, run for the people on Facebook or our website. God bless you. We thank God for, for you tuning in. Our fall festival is coming up, up right after church today. Glory to God. We're going to be the truck and treat. And if you out there, glory to God, you want to come in and get candy and we got everything out here at the Hopper Bay Center. We're more than welcome. We invite you, glory to God. Remember, Hebrews 11 said God is rewarded to them that did it to seek you. Thank you, all your visitors, for coming in, glory to God. Uh, thank you for coming today. We love you and may God smile upon you. Amen. Remember Hebrews 11 says God is rewarded to them that definitely seek him. See God today. God bless you. We'll see you Wednesday night.